Blog Talk Radio. You are now viewing Prophet H. Walker and True Light Pentecost Church. Those they are viewing and seeking after righteousness, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Seymour. He took a vision that God had given him. And was, I mean, it was in Houston, Texas, and had no money. And God spoke and said, go to Los Angeles. I want to go to the church here. Amen. Went to Los Angeles, praise Lord, and had no money. And walked down the street, and uh, God said, follow that lady right there. Oh, I'm 
a wonderful Savior to me. So wonderful. He's a wonderful Savior to me. Just gave me this oh, copy. Thank you, 
Uh, now they're at Target stores. They're selling uh, the uh, gift cards, mm -hmm. and they're titled Mr. and Mr. God forbid. And women to women love. God forbid. God forbid. This is what is taking place in America today because preachers refuse to stand up yes. and defend the word of truth. Amen. In Ephesians 4, chapter 3. Yes, I'll jump right in at verse 17, I think. Then they Therefore, testify in the Lord that he henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind. The reason why we are a separated people yes. is because we have been converted. Each we, we, we're changed. Yes. We're not like the others. Right. And we'll never be like the others every That's time right. I go in this direction. You got to give me uh, Deuteronomy uh, chapter 7 and 6, is it? Uh, we are a special people. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Seven and six, yes. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. A holy people. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Now, the Bible says God has chosen us to be a special people unto God. Peter said we are peculiar people. Amen. Peculiar and special means the same thing. We are different. As we right. man, I mean, they sing that song, we are different. <laughs> Praise God. And we are different. Yes, Lord. We're not like them. We're not trying to be like them. Amen. But what they ought to do is try to be like us. Yes. Right. So again, as I told you last night, don't be ashamed yeah. of your holiness calling. Amen. Be proud. Amen. And your labor is not in vain. Yes. No matter yes. what you're going through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. God said, you got a reward. Oh, God. yes, Lord. Amen. All you got to do is be steadfast in the faith. Don't surrender. Don't give up. It's holiness yes. or the other. Amen. Amen. All right. Ephesians 4, chapter, uh, verse 17. Read me verse 18. Having the understanding darkened, being unalienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them. Anytime you don't know the truth of God's word, uh, the Bible calls you ignorant. Yes. Amen. Now, there's no excuse for people in holiness not to know the truth because God has sent you a teacher Amen. to teach you yeah. the right and correct way to go. Again, uh, Paul said that you all speak the same thing, that there be no divisions amongst you. No divisions, no denominations, no a separation. We are one body in Christ Jesus, and we want to act like one body in Christ Jesus. And if we cannot learn how to adjust to uh, the same guidance and the same direction, Teach. then the separation will automatically take place. Yes. Nobody can come into a holiness church and be comfortable in holiness if they don't have the Spirit of God within. That's Amen. right, Prophet Howard. But when you got that Spirit in you, my brother and my sister are my brother and my yes. sister. Yes. And I have compassion one toward another. Amen. Again, read. Having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness uh -huh. of their hearts, uh -huh. who being past feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness. Past the feelings of the righteousness of God, they give themselves over to what? Lasciviousness means foolish sin. Uh -huh. To work all uncleanness with greediness. All sinful behavior. With greediness. In other words, they enjoy going to the bars. That's right. Amen. Amen. They enjoy uh, mm -hmm. getting the six pack. Yep. They enjoy getting that funny uh, smelling pipe. Amen. Amen. They enjoy that type yep. of lifestyle. Brothers and sisters, and they do it with greed. Yep. But when you are separated, you enjoy coming to the church yes, of God Lord. and worshiping and praising God. That's why I say when you come to the house of God, you, you got to praise Him. Yes. You must praise Him. It don't matter whether you got a Toothache, backache, yeah. toe ache, whatever yeah. ache you got, you got to get up on your feet and yeah. hunt your feet. Hallelujah. Thank you for bringing me out of darkness into the marvelous light. Praise God. Read. But ye have not so learned Christ. Now the Bible says a sinful life, and I hope some of these YouTube uh, preachers are listening to me tonight. You have not learned a sinful life from the Holy Scriptures. The Bible says, uh, read that. 
But ye have not so learned Christ, if so be that ye have heard him. If you've heard the gospel, uh -huh. and have been taught by him, and, and been taught by a messenger that God has sent, uh -huh. the truth is in Jesus. The truth is in Jesus. That you put off concerning the former conversation of old men. You put off the former lifestyle. Which is corrupt according to that old man, he ain't no come. He ain't no good. That you put on what? The new man? And be renewed in the spirit of your mind, yes. and that you put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. True holiness. Yes. Amen. When you're born again, you take upon the mantle of true holiness. Yes. I believe it says something about the renewing of your mind. And verse 23. And be renewed in the spirit be of your mind. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Amen. If you are not thinking holy, you are not holy. That's my Amen. prophet. This is why you have to adopt your way of thinking. And you can't adopt your way of thinking if you are constantly in a fellowship or in a, a, a relationship with those who don't like holiness. That's yeah. right, Prophet. Hallelujah. There's not two different churches. There's not all of us. Well, we've all read the same Bible, uh, and God loves us all, and we all going to see heaven. Nope. We all not to fight amongst each other. Don't don't go for that lie. That's right, Prophet. Lord. Bible says, "Them that sin rebuke before all the others may what fear." Amen. There's got to be a fear. Put in people in order for them to change. Why do you think the parent, praise the Lord, when the child gets too out of hand, they grab the bell. They're trying to put some fear into the child so that the child can develop some type of respect. Yes. If there's no fear, there's no respect. Amen. And God has set before us good and evil, life and death, and we have to make a conscious choice within ourselves. Yeah. That's why the word is here. Amen. And if we start watering the word down, they email me all the time. This, this preacher emails me about why don't I preach the love of God? I am preaching the love of God. Amen. I don't want you to go to the lake of fire. But I got to warn you about these sissies and these lesbians that are taking over America. Praise Amen. God. Somebody got to stand up and defend the faith. That's right, Prophet. Hallelujah. Jew, Jew said it was needful for me to write a book. That you earnestly contend for the faith once delivered. Amen. For there are certain men crept in what? Unaware. Oh, they crept in under the radar screen. You didn't know them, you didn't see them until pretty soon they had 25,000 members like TBJ. Yes. Right. Amen. Joe Rosen. Yes. Uh -huh. He had to preach in an auditorium, a stadium. Yep. He can't preach in no church. No. Praise God. But we preach in the church. They preach in a line, we, we preach in the truth. They got thousands and we got a handful. Lord. That's why right. that's the word Lord. And know the way that needed to light and few there be that be that Amen. And the latter days they depart from the faith, giving heed to sleeping spirits and doctrines of devils. That's yeah. the word. In the latter days, yes. Amen. you can't look for an overflowing church in this dispensation of time, because it ain't gonna happen. Now there was a time where God added to the church, but in the last days there's a great what falling away. away. Praise God. Amen. Everybody don't want to hear the truth. Yes. Everybody don't want to hear holiness. Nope. Sister, don't want to wear no bell covering. Uh -uh. Yes. Amen. And I say this over YouTube, and I hope it spreads throughout the world, and I know it will. Because the Bible says, this gospel shall be preached to the whole world, and then come at the end. That's right. Anytime you go to a church, and the sister is not ha does not have a bell covering on her head, that's a false church. Amen. 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 And you people going to T.D. J.'s church, y'all email me. Amen. Hurry up. And I'll say it again. If you go to a church and the daughters don't have a veil coming on, that's a false church. That's right, Father. Because the leader is false. That's He's right. That's right. That's he right. won't preach the truth because he preaches for money. He preaches for a crowd. And he's not preaching to save a lost soul. Amen. I'm trying to get somebody to heaven. That's right, Father. Praise God. Glory. Well, that's my mandate. Amen. That's the commission God has given me. To bring the Acts 238 church back to true holiness. Yes. Amen. Before it's eternally and everlasting to me. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says you have not so learnt Christ by the sickness of boy sinful life. You haven't learned. Christ never taught you how to be a, 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 a lesbian. Christ never taught you how to be a son of mine. He spoke against this type of behavior. Yes, yes. Why is it people trying to make some type of compromise today? Jesus Christ to say yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. From the beginning, it was not so. Yes, yes. hallelujah. God always had a church and always will have the church that's going to survive. Amen. In 1907, Azusa Street Miracle Revival, yeah. 
took place in Los Angeles, California. What was that preacher's name? William Seymour. Seymour. Amen. Elder Seymour. He took a vision that God had given him and was, I believe he was in Houston, Texas, didn't have no money. And God spoke and said, go to Los Angeles. I want to go to church now. Amen. Went to Los Angeles, praise Lord, didn't have no money, and was walking down the street, and uh, God said, follow that lady right there. And he started following her. And she turned and I said, sir, you following me? He said, yeah, Lord told me to. Amen. She said, you're the very one I'm looking for. Lord, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Started a Bible class in her living room, and they later moved to uh, an abandoned uh, cattle barn, which was, uh, well, first they went to a Baptist church to have a revival. And when he started preaching that true message of holiness, when they went back the next night, the door was locked. <laughs> Baptists locked him out. So they went to a cattle barn, and God began to bless. Now keep in mind, they didn't have radio. No. Nope. They didn't have TV. No. Nope. They had a telegraph type of setup, right. but who yeah. had that? And you had to go to a telegraph office to send your telegraph. And, yep. and, and, and working bad people didn't, they didn't go to no telegraph. Well, who would send them a, a, a telegram? Amen. So I'm saying, it went by a spirit that God was trying to bring a latter-day message to the latter-day church. The latter ring started at Azusa Street. Amen. Lord. That's where the outpouring of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is dormant. Yes. With no tongue speaking, pray Lord, it was dormant. Not that it's gone, but it went underground until the manifestation at Azusa Street, and they began to have this miracle revival. The people began to speak in tongues, and the first miracle, a uh, 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 lady, through word of mouth, came up me from Kansas City, all the way to Los Angeles, with her sick husband, dying husband. They put him in a wheelchair, and then when they got to the porch of the, of the place that they had rented, he got well. He got healed. Amen. And the power of God was so awesome. And that was the first recorded message of the uh, Azusa Street Miracle Revival. And from then on, it spread. Now, there were three important figures that uh, were dominant in uh, the, uh, the uh, Azusa Street Miracle Revival. Uh, Elder Haywood, who was later Bishop Haywood, Bishop C.H. Mason, and uh, uh, Bishop Jones, who was in, in partnership, sort of, with Bishop Mason. Now, they formed, in 1907, the Pentecostal Assemblies of the World. Amen. They were in one accord. But the divisions began to come amongst them. So, uh, Bishop Jones didn't even speak in tongues, so him and Bishop Mason split up. Bishop Jones formed the Church of God, and Bishop Mason formed the Church of God in Christ. And uh, Bishop Haywood left Bishop Mason because Bishop Mason said, no, Jesus is not God, and he's the Son of God only. So they split up. Those three great leaders began to go in diverse ways. And this is why you have primarily in the Pentecostal church, you got all this division. And in the church, church of God in Christ, when Bishop uh, G.E. Patterson tried to bring the church of God in Christ into the understanding that Jesus was God, manifest in the flesh, according to 1 Timothy 3.16, they began to split. And the current uh, bishop, uh, from California, is it? What's his name? Blake. 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 Bishop Blake. Uh, he undermined the bishop passed him before he died, when he was sick. And right today, that that great organization that C.H. Mason started is divided, split in so many different ways. You can't you can't tell the Church of God in Christ right now from a Baptist church. Right, right. They wear makeup. Yeah. Amen. Uh, they, some of the sisters wear pants. Yeah. Uh, some of them wear earrings. Uh, you can't. And Bishop Mason taught against all that. Amen. Well, why did they call Bishop Mason their leader? Mm -hmm. Their founder? No, Bishop Mason, uh uh. Amen. Bishop Mason taught true holiness. Amen. Now, he didn't understand the God here. He didn't understand what the baptism in Jesus' name. Uh, that's, that's a subject for a, a great debate. Amen. How can you have the Holy Ghost and not know the things that are freely given of God? Yes. Spirit bears witness of the Spirit. Yes. So I'm saying divisions creep up because people do not want to center in on one leader. And I said before, God never had a whole bunch of leaders. Teach prophets. And he only had one, one leader. leader for each dispensation of time. Why? To keep out division and confusion. Yes. Any time, how are you going to have three gods in heaven? Come on now, teach prophets. Oh, praise be to God. You're trying to tell me, you all stop and think. Amen. Who's the boss, God? 
Yeah. Somebody got to be in charge. Well, that's God the Father. Well, Jesus said you was God the Father. That's right. Lord. Amen. Amen. And who is the Lord? Amen. The Bible says Jesus is the Lord. And yes. people say he's Lord of all. Yes. And yes. if right. Jesus is the Lord, Jeremiah said the Lord is the true God, that means Jesus Come is the true now, God. Come on now, preach. So, yes. divisions come because people do not want to humble themselves and be taught the truth. So again, brothers and sisters, we have to understand, at the Zoo Street Miracle Revival, there was a brother who got up to speak, his name was Brother Cook, and he's the one introduced and told the people there is no division in the Godhead. Jesus is God Almighty. Oh, yes. Amen. Hallelujah. And read that scripture, Isaiah 45 and 5, I am the Lord, yes. there is none else, there is no God beside me. Yes. And yes. he pushed that. Yes. And they went to the baptism in Jesus' name. Nowhere can you find anyone baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost until after the Nicene Council in 325. Amen. Know it. Search out any way you want to search. The baptism, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost came by way of Constantine and, yep. the, and the Roman Catholic Church, yes. which was called Roman Church then. Amen. And many years later was called Catholic Church. Catholic and Roman Church are one in the same. Amen. Founded by Emperor Constantine at the Nicene Council 325 and at the Council of Ephesus in 440, they introduced for the first time female deity worship and made Mary some type of goddess. Amen. Amen. Right, and, and they prayed to a, a, a dead woman. Amen. Amen. I think a person who prays to a dead woman, I, I, I ain't got too much confidence in you. Amen. I still don't want you to pray for me. Amen. <laughs> Lord. The dead can't help the dead. You said the dead bury the dead. In other words, you dead folk alone. Hallelujah. We, we got peace of the living. Amen. Amen. All right, so the Bible says in Ephesians 4th chapter, you have not learned a sinful life from Christ. Now, in Romans again, we read it so many times, but you better, you better jump into it right quick. Romans 120. Amen. Tell better in 120. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power in Godhead, so that they are without excuse. You, you, you don't have an excuse that the Godhead is revealed to those if you got his spirit. Uh -huh. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was dark. Their foolish heart was darkened, uh, because they were vain. Didn't have no humility. Caught up in pride. I know I'm right. Well, maybe you're wrong. Teach, teach. God. Maybe the Bible's right and you're wrong. Hallelujah. Right. Yeah. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. It's a sad thing when a person thinks he's smart and he's an idiot. Mm. <laughs> it's sad. And read. And change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like the corruptible man, and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Yes. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts. The lust of their own hearts. To dishonor their own bodies. Dishonor their, their own bodies between themselves. Now it's talking about man to man and woman to woman. Amen. We're going to put this brief. Who changed the truth of God into a lie. Anytime you say God made a lesbian or God made a sodomite, you call God a liar. Free. Amen. God made right. Adam and Eve. That's right. And joined them together, husband and wife. Lord. And you can't find nowhere else where he made something in between. Yeah. Where's the confusion? Amen. Somebody wrote me about, uh, about debating. There's no, there's no debate. Where's the debate at? Amen. Where's the question? There's no question. That's God right. made a man and a woman. Where's the question? Where's the debate? That's right, Amen. 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 When they go in the direction and try to placate and please the sodomite lesbian coalition because it seems to be popular now. Yeah. It's not about popularity, brothers and sisters. It's about a relationship with God. Amen. We are not popular and we're not going to be popular. Jesus wasn't popular. Amen. That's why they crucified him. Amen. Jesus said, had they known who he was, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Amen. But they didn't know who he was. So I'm saying we got to understand we're going to be attacked they're going to come against us, but God's word is not going to change. Yeah. About sodomy and lesbian behavior, it will never change. Uh, what, what man? For uh -huh. this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. Vile affection. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. How plain is that? 
The right. man changed the natural use to that which is against nature. How plain is that? Yes. Uh -huh. And likewise also to men. The men. Leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one towards another. They jumped over a pretty woman to get to an ugly man. That's right. That's right. That's right. Do you know that saying? That's right. Do you realize the state of affairs uh, America is in, character right, and morally wise? Amen. This is saying. That's right, Father. When a man don't know he's a man, the man think he's a woman. Uh, I told you before, all you got to do is go in front of a mirror and take your clothes off. That's and, right. And it's self-evident. That's right. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's right. You ain't trapped in no man's body. You ain't trapped in no man's body. Man, you ain't trapped in no man's body. Yes, you right, just crazy. Amen. And you need to be delivered. Amen. And you need some oil put on you. And a priest to put on you. And a priest to put on you. And you need to be delivered. You found this shit. Hallelujah. Amen. Read Men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was me. Uh -huh. Even if they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Not convenient. Uh -huh. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, Full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of God. And his did, did you read verse 32? 32. Who knowing the judgment of God. <laughs> knowing the judgment of God. That they which commit such things. It's talking about sodomy and lesbian behavior. Are worthy of death. Now that's under wow. grace. Amen. Yes. Yes. The Bible said God sends them to death. That's right. right. Now, now, now get mad at God. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Fight God. Amen. 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 Take God to court. Come on Lord. now. Amen. Tell President Obama about God. Amen. Amen. Let God be true in every man. Amen. 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 That's right. We are on a mission to defend the faith. Amen. It's up to us. It's up to each individual to have the backbone and the courage to stand up now. Amen. Again, it's not going to be popular. But God promised to have a church that the gates of hell would not be built against. Amen. We are that church. Lord. Yes. Amen. 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 Lord. Amen. Lord. Amen. Lord. Amen. Lord. All the churches. Uh -huh. And find out how many you see sisters wearing the bell coming. That's right, Pop. That's oh, right. I ain't Amen. the one, really. And I know he copied from me. Amen. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Amen. I remember, hey, man, man, I, I, I ain't got nothing personal against uh, Bishop Gino Jennings, you know. I, I don't agree with some of his teaching. I agree with a lot of his teaching, but not not a whole lot. Uh, when he comes to that divorce thing, he don't understand. Uh, when you're born again, you are born again. Amen. What you've done before, you got water baptized in Jesus' name. Can that count against you? Yes. That's right. That's gone. Amen. Yes. To rise what and walk in the newness, newness, newness of, life. of life. So what you've done in the past, so what you get water baptized, according to Acts two thirty eight, for the remission of sin. That sin has been remitted for yes, the record. Yes, yes. And God said, I won't remember it no more for us. Yes. Yes. God. But other than that, we, we teach about the same thing. Amen. But I notice now, I see a sister wearing a bell cover. Amen. 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 Well, I, I, well I'm, glad, I'm glad they're watching you. Amen. 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 But you know, when, you know, when, the, when the crowd starts leaving, Bishop Dennis, don't start leaving the faith. Amen, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> well, we thank God for all that's transpired here tonight. We thank God for all the brothers who just made it in from all the way from Atlanta, Georgia. Amen. Amen. And we hope that he stays steadfast by this calling to be a soldier. Amen. And that he made a sacrifice. Yes. Pack the suitcase and came on down here. Amen. It's hard, it's a real, and he's yeah. steadfast in the faith. Amen. He'll stand up and be counted yeah. in these Hallelujah. evil days. Glory. And pick up his cross. Yes. And follow after Christ. Right, yes. right. And it's always going to be easy. Many lonely moments. Yes. Many moments of sour and heartache. Amen. But through it all, God oh. comes to bless. Oh, yeah. He comes right, to right. deliver, yes. and he will bless, and he will deliver. Glory. God always oh, will for somebody. Stand up and be counted in these trying times. That's right. What about that the prophet Isaiah? Hey Amen. When God was looking for a prophet, couldn't find it. And Isaiah said, Well, I'll go. That's right. Yes. Amen. That's he right. said, I'm unclean. He said, If you clean me up, Amen. Glory. I'll be all right. Glory. 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 Glory.
and change on his way. And now I have become one of the greatest prophets yep. of the Old Testament story. Sure was. Amen. Amen. And the same can be applied to each one of us. Amen. God call you to holiness. All you got to do is stand up and be counted. Amen. And God do the rest. Yeah. If you take a step forward, hallelujah, the Holy Ghost take the rest of the way. All you got to do is take a first step. And don't look back. Don't Lord. think about what I'm missing or no. what I could have had. No. I could have done this and I could have been this. You couldn't have done nothing but what God called you. And that's a witness bearer of the truth. Amen. 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 Lord. How many have you been I love the Lord, I love the Lord, I love the Lord. I love the Lord, I love the Lord, I love the Lord. I love the Lord, I love the Lord. I love the Lord, I love the Lord, I love the Lord. Promise? Amen. Amen. Another envelope, Savannah. Up in the hundreds. Praise God. Savannah. In the hundreds. Love Talk Radio.